welcome everybody to the, and this is a mouthful, the Westcliff, Foster Park, Overton, and Summerfields Area Improvements Community Design Meeting. If you can see the chat button in the bottom right-hand corner and you already have questions, go ahead and type that into the chat and when the presentation is over, we will field those chat questions first. If you can't see the chat and you still have a question, we will take the call-in users um, after we do the chat questions. And we want to welcome Tara Holt. She is the District Director for Council District 4, and she's joined us in this meeting. Tara, do you want to say anything? No, I'm just happy to be here. I can't wait to learn more about the project. Okay, thank, thank you, you all. Mm -hmm. All right, and Preeti KC is your uh, project manager, and I'm gonna pass this over to Preeti. All right, thank you, Sally. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for attending the community design meeting for Westcliff Foster Park, Overton, and Summerfields area improvements. Today is Monday, November 7th. So for this uh, meeting, we are going to follow an agenda, which includes introductions, project overview, project area, some frequently asked questions, and the timeline of the project. So your project team includes myself, Preeti KC. I am the project manager for this project. You can reach me at 817-392-5467, or you can email me at preeti.kc at fortworthtexas.gov. Our engineering design consultant is Multitech Engineering Incorporation, and uh, Robert Bridges and Paul Padilla are the project engineers. So why are we doing this project? Fort Worth prioritizes water and sewer line replacement based on available data, which includes water main break history, leak history, CCTV inspection, the age of the line, the material of the line, some lead services line, and cast iron lines. Project overview. Existing water and sanitary sewer mains will be replaced in 11 streets and courts and in 10 easements. This project is in Council District 3 and Council District 4. Construction will impact the Overton Woods, Westcliff West, Foster Park, Overton Park, and Summerfields Neighborhood Associations. Now we're going to go to the project area. If you can see the map on the right hand side, there is this black line which represents the area that's going to be affected. We are going to replace water and sewer line on those areas. Winslow Drive from Encanto Drive to Sumbrus Lane, we are going to replace water line. Sumbrus Lane from Bel Air Circle to Winslow Drive, we are going to replace water line. Easement between Arundel Avenue and Winslow Drive from 220 feet east of Encanto Drive to 910 feet east, we are going to replace sewer line. Easement south of Arundel Avenue, from Arundel Avenue to 190 feet south, we are going to replace sewer line. Easement west of Sumbrus Lane, from Arundel Avenue to 500 foot south, we are going to replace sewer line. Overton Park Drive from Altura Court to Rainier Court, we are going to replace water line. We are also going to replace water line at Rainier Court from South Drive to 1620 feet north. Water line is going to be replaced at Norwich Drive from, Nor from Rainier Court to South Drive and at Lambert Avenue from Rainier Court to Norwich Drive. We are also going to replace water line at Windell Court from Trail Lake Drive to the cul-de-sac and at Sierra Court from Trail Lake Drive to the cul-de-sac. We are going to replace sewer line at the easement east of Rainier Court slash Lambert Avenue intersection to 1510 foot north, then 170 foot east. We're also going to replace sewer line at the easement west of Norwich Drive from 180 feet north of Norwich Drive to 170 foot west. 
We're also going to replace sewer line at easement north of Lambert Avenue from 150 feet west of Rainier Court to 542 foot west. We're replacing sewer line at easement east of Overton Park from 270 feet south of Overton Park Drive slash Altura Court intersection to 150 feet east and 155 feet southeast. We are going to replace sewer line at easement north of South Drive from 150 feet north and 350 feet east of South Drive slash Rainier Court intersection to 500 foot west, then 60 foot north. We are replacing sewer line at easement between Sierra Court and Windell Court from 130 feet west of Trail Lake Drive to 360 feet west. We are also going to replace sewer line at Western Center Boulevard from Silver Sage Drive to 600 feet west. And we are replacing water and sewer line at Poppy Court from Sunnybank Drive to Western Center Boulevard. We are replacing sewer line at Ranch View Road from Belair Drive to 67 seven feet east. We are replacing sewer line at the easement south of Southwest Loop 820 from Overton Ridge Drive, oh sorry, Overton Ridge Boulevard to 610 foot west. So we're going to talk about another project that is going to happen in Westcliff West area. So if the map to the right looks familiar to you, it's because we hosted a community design meeting for the Westcliff and Westcliff Wastewater and Sewer Project on October 24th. The project we are talking about today includes Sunrest Lane from Bel Air Circle to Winslow Drive and Winslow Drive from Sunrest Lane to Encanto Drive. Okay, do that. The two projects will be constructed in phases so as to minimize disruption to the residents. Now we're gonna go through some frequently asked questions that can arise during construction. Will our water be turned off? Water will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes when service is transferred from the existing line to a temporary water line and when the service is transferred from the temporary line to the new line. The switchovers are done during the day. The contractor will knock on the door and let customers know when the water will be turned off. The transfer typically takes 30 minutes per house or business. Will you need access to our property? Construction will be in the streets and easements. If Fort Worth Water needs access to your property, we will contact you. If an easement is needed for your property, a city land agent will be contacting you soon. I guess the city land agent has already contacted like most of the property owners for the easement. Will our sewer service be disrupted? Sanitary sewer service will not be interrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line. The sewer cleanout provides crews easy access if a backup or blockage occurs. The sewer line from the clean house, sorry, clean out to the house is the owner's responsibility to maintain. Will I have access to my driveway? An inspector will be assigned to the project when we are ready to start construction. The inspector and the contractor will work with the residents who needs driveway access during active construction hours. Will the city's trash truck be able to pick up, oops, sorry my trash and recycling during construction. If your side of the street is closed on your scheduled trash collection day, the contractor will take your trash and recycling cars to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle can pick it up. Will there be lane closure during construction? Yes, there will be lane closure during construction, but the sign will be posted to alert the motorist. What are the construction hours? The hours of construction are from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday, and if requested by the contractor, it can be from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. on Saturdays. Now we can talk about the timeline of the project. 
So this project is still in the design phase. We expect to finalize the design, advertise for bids, and select a contractor before summer of 2023. We will host a community construction meeting after we have a contractor on board. Where can I get more information? You can go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and type in the project number 102783 in the search bar on the home page. Westcliff, Foster Park, Overton, and Summerfields area improvements will pop up. To get to the project page updates, scroll down to the bottom of the project page and click on subscribe to this page. The link to the project summary or frequently asked questions will be linked to this project page. How do I report an emergency or non-emergency? If there is an emergency water main breaks, sewer backups, you can reach out to number 817-392-4477 and select option one, and it is 24 hours a day. If it is a non-emergency, it is the same number, 817-392-4477, but it is from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, and it is closed during city holidays. You can also download the MyFW app from the App Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, and water main breaks, missing or broken meter leads, water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns. Here is the contact information again. So I am the project manager. My name is Preeti KC. You can reach me at 817-392-5467, or you can also email me at preeti.kc at fortworthtexas.gov. Our engineering design consultant is Multatech Engineering Incorporation, and our project manager is Robert Pretis and Paul Padilla. If you have any questions related to easement, you can contact our land agent, Austin Lopes. You can reach him out at 817-392-2567, and his email address is austin.lopes at fortworthtexas.gov. You can also reach out to him if you have any additional questions on the easement, and he we can set up a separate meeting um, on the site. If there is any questions related to trees and landscaping, you can reach out to our city forester, Craig Fox. His phone number is 817-392-5729 and his email address is craig.fox at fortworthtexas.gov. Thank you so much for your time for attending this meeting. I will pass this to Sally now to see if you have any questions. Okay, so far, excuse me, so far we don't have any questions in chat, but if you did not have a chance to write down those contact numbers, the uh, project page link is in the chat, uh, Preeti's phone number and email is in the chat, and she mentioned the easement question. Uh, we put Austin's contact information in the chat, and also when she talked about the tree and landscaping questions, we've got Craig Fox's information in the chat if you want to open that and, and uh, write that information down. So if you have a question, go ahead and let me do this one by one. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna unmute you all. Okay, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. Bruce, do you have any questions? Yes, I, I appear to be a lucky one where I'm going to have construction in front and behind my house. <laughs> okay. Um, on the sewer, is it uh, dig it up and replace it, or is it put in a, a kind of a sleeve or a rubber lining or something to, you know, keep it from leaking? So, in some places, we are digging it up and replacing it, and on some places, we are doing a CIPP lining. And you probably don't know which I'm going to get. It depends on like uh, the address or you can send me a separate email and I can look into it and I will send the information. 
Sounds like I shouldn't replace my back fence yet. No, not yet. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Um, John, excuse me if I say this wrong, Viola. Yeah, sorry, I had some technical difficulties, so I got in a little bit late, but we have a sewer easement in the back of our house and I was just, I didn't know if that's going to be affected as well. Yeah, again, like uh, if I, I at this point, I don't know which address um, that you are in. So you can, if you can shoot me an email or you can give me a call and we can definitely look into it and send you the information. And also uh, I can send you the 60% design plan where we, you can see if you know we need additional easement or any uh, easement is needed. Okay, thank you. Okay, we have. We have two call in users, so I don't have your name. If you have some questions. Okay, call in user two. Nope. Okay. Um, let's scroll. It looks like those are the. Yeah, those are the only ones on here where to have questions. Um, please make sure you open up the chat and copy all of that information down if, if you need to get in contact with Preeti. And again, the easement questions are often, Austin, I may be saying this wrong, it's either Lopes or Lopez? Uh, it's Lopes. Lopes, okay. And then Craig Fox is your contact for tree and landscaping questions. Oh, is it presentation available online? We will make a, a PDF copy of it and post that to the project page. It should be able, this is what? We should be able to post it by Wednesday at the very latest. We also um, post this video. It, it becomes a YouTube video instead of WebEx, so that'll be on there. And we also do um, summary FAQs. Uh, if you don't want to watch a video, you can just print off the summary FAQs and it has all the information that is on this PowerPoint. We've got several different ways that you can get the information, but um, don't hesitate to reach out to Preeti. She can uh, answer your questions for you. And I hope none of your neighbors are stuck in the traffic on I-35. <laughs> kind of crazy today. Okay. Um, if you have any questions about your lot, you know, or easement, please send me an email. Um, yeah, here is my contact information. You can also call me or email me. One I was going to ask, um, Preeti, do we have a, an estimate about when this will be advertised and, and go to construction? Yeah, uh, we are thinking uh, summer of 2023. So we will host a community construction meeting before we go to construction. So yes, make that's sure. correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Guys are being quiet. Tara, do you want to say anything? I also saw um, Councilmember Blaylock was on the call. Okay, he's not on the call anymore. Tara, did you want to say anything? Yeah, he was probably stuck in I-35 traffic. <laughs> <laughs> That's guy. usually where he is if I can't find him. So yeah, okay. so now that you say that, so he planned on being here today. So I apologize on his behalf, I'm sure. Okay. So, well, thank you everybody. Again, if you have any information, don't hesitate to reach out to us and you will get another mailer in your mailbox when we have the community construction meeting set up. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thanks. Bye.